Hello and welcome to Herbalist and Herbs. My name is Harry Kasaikis. Today's video is short, sleep debt, sleep disorder. Now I uh, took on this subject, again because it's, it's not well viewed and considered that important, especially in standard practice medicine, but it is critically important for people to get well and to stay well. When people come to see me who have sleep debt or sleep disorder as part of their profile, it's one of the first places I go. So if they come in with a chronic disorder and they have that as part of their chronic disorder, which is very common, it's one of the things I take into consideration as a main factor that I've got to work with in order to help them heal. Because if people don't sleep well, not only do they recover very slowly, but they never fully recover. And it's very simple to verify how big the impact of not sleeping well has on the body. If you take a normal person and you take a blood test and then you deprive them of sleep for two, three, four days and then blood test them again, you will see that their blood numbers have gone askew and gone awry. So uh, from a physiologic point of view, that's very simple to prove. Um, it is also just visually obvious when people don't sleep well for prolonged periods of time, they do not look well. Now, in terms of what trying to work with someone who has a disorder or part of a pro, the part of, that's part of their profile, you want to approach things you know, during the day and at night. So then when I'm working with this, these large-scale circadian disturbances where you have this imbalance in sleep cycles, um, I want to give them things during the day that are helping to feed their nervous and hormonal systems to help balance those two things. And then at night, I want to give them things that are more sedative-like. So during the day, I may give them formulas that wrap themselves around things like Avena. And at night, I may wrap things around things like California Poppy, Passion Flower, or Valerian. One of the things I also use often before bed, which doesn't necessarily make people sleepy, but helps work with their stress response, is Ashwagandha. And really, it is a primo adaptogenic herb. It can be used during the day as well. But one of the things that it does is it balances cortisol response, so stress responses in the body. Now, along with treating people this way, I also look at some simple things that they're doing in their lifestyle. Uh, things like late night eating or drinking. Um, things like uh, heavy studying at night, late at night. Um, it may be watching a lot of TV or having a lot of bright electric light in their eyes for a long time because light really disturbs the production of melatonin, which is your primary hormone released by your pineal gland, to help set circadian rhythms. So again, simple things like that have big impact on people, especially once they become very sensitive to things. Now, again, when you're working with a chronic disease and you're treating people for multiple things, this is one of the legs that have, has to be worked with because things that happen at night in sleep are major league in terms of repair and recovery. Just to give you one example, your liver, it has two shifts, one during the day and then at night. At night it goes into a detoxification of any of the heavy toxins we've taken in or manufactured in our body that we have to get rid of and it also rebuilds blood proteins. We also need the release of growth hormone to help repair tissue, which is a nighttime, deep, restful sleep release hormone. Um, people used to, 100 years ago, people would sleep nine hours. Now, in America, they sleep less than seven. Um, this is really an unacceptable number. It just doesn't work, no matter what we think it should do. Um, in the general idea of approaching sleep, we have to get back to the idea that we need more sleep, deeper sleep. There's also another misconception about people as they get older that they need less sleep. Well, the fact is they just cannot sleep well because there's so many bodily disturbances going on that it won't let them, so therefore they sleep less. It doesn't make sense that they would need less sleep. We need more sleep as we get older because our bodies are slower to repair because we're older. So again, when I'm working with people uh, to help them sleep well, there's a number of things you can take into consideration, but the first thing is you must look at is how important it is and put weight on that. And uh, again, try to help yourself with that. 